not a butterfly alphabet book. It's about time moths had their own book by Jerry Pelota and Shannon Bersani. A is for Atlas Moth. Don't even think about calling this creature a butterfly. This is a moth. The Atlas Moth is the largest moth in the world. Wingtip to wingtip, this moth can be as wide as this page. B is for Bella Moth. The word Bella means beautiful. Most people think butterflies are more colorful than moths and have more intricate and interesting wings. It's not true. Moths are spectacular too. C is for cow moth. Butterflies and moths land differently. Most butterflies land with their wings folded up. Moths land with their wings spread out. Cow moth, we want to say one thing. Moo. D is for diamond moth. This moth looks like it belongs in a jet book. It is the same shape as a Delta Dart fighter jet. Moths are insects, and insects have six legs. A jet is an aircraft and does not have legs. It has landing gear instead. E is for emperor moth. My, what lovely fake eyes you have. Since birds, tiny mammals, and small reptiles enjoy eating moths, these pretend eyes are perfect for scaring predators away. If a predator catches the moth, it usually eats the body and leaves the wings. F is for fly moth. Nature is truly amazing. This moth has upper wings that mimic red-eyed flies eating bird poop. Some moths have wing designs that mimic eyes, sticks, and leaves. This moth is also called a mural moth. G is for green lips moth. While walking through the rainforest, look for the green lips moth. No kissing allowed. The green lips moth could be mistaken for a green leaf. It is also known as a giant silkworm moth. H is for hummingbird moth. It looks like a hummingbird. It flies like a hummingbird. It sounds like a hummingbird. It eats like a hummingbird. Don't be fooled. It's a moth. H could have also been for Hercules moth. Some people think that the Hercules moth is the largest moth on earth. Others disagree and say that the Atlas moth is the largest. Oh no, we have a controversy. I is for Imperial moth. This yellow moth is camouflaged when sitting on a yellow flower. A scientist who collects and studies butterflies and moths is called a Lepidopterist. Lepidoptera is a Latin word that means scale wing. What do butterflies, moths, reptiles, most fish, and two mammals have in common? Scales. A pangolin is a mammal with scales made of keratin. Keratin is what our nails and hair are made of. This orange gecko is a lizard that has scales. This is a close-up of a moth wing. Butterflies and moths have delicate wings with tiny scales. If you touch them, the scales wipe off and look like dust on your fingers. Snakes are reptiles that have scales on their skin. This clownfish is scaly too. An armadillo is a mammal with scales called scoots. The scales on butterflies and moths wings overlap like shingles. J is for Jersey tiger moth. A Jersey tiger moth has hind wings that are an entirely different color than its forewings. This is a moth anatomy lesson. Moths have two antenna, two eyes, a head, a proboscis, a thorax, an abdomen, a pair of forewings, a pair of hind wings, and six legs. K is for Kentish glory moth. Sorry penguins, moths live on every continent except Antarctica. The Kentish glory moth is found only in Scotland. L is for leopard moth. Leopards aren't the only animals with spots. Another good name for this moth could have been Dalmatian moth. M is for moon moth. The long hind wings of the moon moth are similar to those of the luna moth on the title page of this book. When long-tailed moths fly, their tails create vibrations that distract their biggest predators, bats. 
N is for nutmeg moth. This moth is named after a spice. Do some research. Are there other moths named after spices or herbs? Is there a parsley moth? Sage moth? Rosemary moth? Thyme moth? O is for oakworm moth. Cockroaches, sugar gliders, and skunks are creatures that shy away from light. Moths are the opposite. They are attracted to light. Moths will fly toward a lit candle, lantern, or porch light. Want to get rid of moths? Turn off the lights. P is for Pandora Sphinx Moth. Butterflies usually fly during the day. Moths usually fly at night. The Pandora Sphinx Moth is most often seen flying at dusk. Q is for Quaker Moth. Moths do not have teeth or fangs. They can't bite you and they don't chew their food. Moths drink with their proboscis, which looks and works like a straw. R is for rosy maple moth. The rosy maple moth looks like a tropical insect, but it is actually found in the east coast forests of North America. It gets its name from eating mostly maple tree leaves. People enjoy maple flavor too. S is for sheep moth. Butterflies have straight antenna with a bump or a club at the tip. Moths have pointed antenna. Some moths like these sheep moths have feathered antenna. T is for tapestry moth. The tapestry moth is also called the carpet moth. These pesky moths get their name because their larvae feed on carpets, fabric, wool, or even birds' nests. They can ruin clothing and furniture in your house. If this moth gives you trouble, call an exterminator. U is for underwing moth. There is no such thing as a baby moth. When a moth comes out of its cocoon, it is already an adult. It is a baby during the caterpillar stage. Let's learn about the moth life cycle on the next page. Moths lay lots of eggs. Many of the eggs are eaten by predators. The surviving eggs hatch into caterpillars. Caterpillars first eat their eggshell, then they eat leaves, then they eat and eat and eat and get fat. This caterpillar is called a blonde woolly bear. Moth caterpillar then builds a cocoon. The caterpillar is now called a pupa. A butterfly caterpillar turns into a chrysalis, but a moth caterpillar makes a cocoon. Eventually, the pupa matures and an adult moth emerges. V is for Venus moth. This moth is fuzzy. It's a myth that moths are hairy and fuzzy and butterflies are not. Both moths and butterflies can be fuzzy wuzzy. W is for wasp moth. Moths do not have claws or nails. A moth cannot scratch you, dig a hole, or get a manicure. How do moths defend themselves against predators? They fly erratically and are difficult to catch. This wasp moth's best defense is that it resembles a nasty stinging wasp. No one wants to mess with a wasp. X is for Zestia moth. Moths versus butterflies. There are ugly moths and ugly butterflies and there are beautiful moths and beautiful butterflies. Scientists tell us there are 150,000 different species of moths. There are 20,000 species of butterflies. There are not many moths that begin with the letter X. Y is for yucca moth. What a picky eater, picky, picky, picky. The yucca moth likes to visit only one type of plant, the yucca. Moths prefer white plants and flowers because they are easier to see at night. Z is for zigzag moth. Looking through this book, do you see a moth that might be a good design for a shirt, a coat, pants, or a scarf? Zigzag is a funky pattern to try out in your art class. Another word for zigzag is chevron. Remember, this is not a butterfly alphabet book. There are a zillion children's books about butterflies. This is a moth book.